Hi, this is Matt Strawn from Volcus, and in this video, I'd like to give you a bit of an introduction of our report ranger system. At Volcus, we do penetration testing, we do compliance, we do security reviews, and when starting the company, we looked around at the reporting systems that there were to try and get systems in place that were efficient, that ended up getting the best outcome for our clients, and we didn't really find anything that we thought was appropriate for us because we had some pretty decent requirements here. We had things, specific things that we were looking for. I mean, first we wanted reports of a professional that looked good. We also wanted something that we could use offline. A lot of the systems that we looked at had centralized web interfaces or centralized data storage. And that didn't really work for us because if we're going in a client environment and we're operating in secure networks, we won't be able to access those centralized web interfaces or those centralized data storage or databases that are hosted centrally. So working offline was a pretty specific requirement. We wanted something that was strongly templated. You don't want to worry about look and feel while doing a report, you only want to worry about contents. And at the same time, we do white labeling work. So we want to be able to do work in a different look and feel without having to worry about that look and feel. Same workflows for different templates. We also wanted automation that saves time, but we didn't want to lock ourselves into a specific output or a specific structure of a report. And that's important because one of our philosophies as a company is whatever's best for the client. And so if the structure of the reporting system, if the output is structured in a way that's not best for the client, we want to have the consultant with have the ability to override all of that. But at the same time, we want reusable content. Whatever's best for the client, well, a lot of different organizations have very similar problems. And if we can get reusable content so that we have content that for that problem that lots of clients have, then we can save time and raise efficiency. One of the design considerations that we came up with right at the start is using flat files. We didn't want any dependencies on anything more than a text editor really. And we decided to use Markdown as our central content, uh, putting together the content system. And finally, Report Ranger should have automation. It should provide active assistance to consultants, save time where possible. And this is a structure that we came up with. You've got the report with the main reportbody.md file. And then you've got two buckets, really, of bucket for vulnerabilities and a bucket for appendices. The vulnerabilities, if you want a new vulnerability, you just add a new markdown file. Uh, and if you want a new appendix, you do the same thing. And then once you've got this report, you just plug it through this report ranger system, it churns, and then it outputs a report for you. It's like compiling a program or that or something like that. And in practice, this is what it looks like. You've got your main report markdown file, and then a directory for vulnerabilities and a directory for appendices. And again, if you want to add a new vulnerability, you just add a markdown files this directory. Let's have a look inside the markdown files themselves. So this is the main report body.md file. That's not a special name, but that's the name that's kind of stuck. And at the start of the markdown file, you have what's called the front matter. And these are just really variables, headers. So the title of the report is tutorial report. The client is the client. Um, we're using the sample report ranger template for this one. Um, we've got a list of changes and a list of contributors. This is to make sure we keep up with document control. And the rest is just markdown, it's text. You've got header there, a hash is a header in markdown, and we're using these tags. So this enables us to have reusable content. 
So clients, if we copy and paste this into another report, the client will change. This stops errors. It stops us from, as I'm sure a lot of consultants in the past has have happened, had happened, uh, copy and pasting from one report to another, and the client name has just somehow uh, been left in there. It stops that entirely. And again, company, this, because the sample report says, uh, I think it's something like report range or automa automation or something like that, um, company will change. It also gives some helpers there. And in future videos, I'll go through all of this. Um, highest risk, whatever the highest risk vulnerability is. So let's have a look at what ends up being developed. Again, it's a compiler. Report Ranger has the ability to output in a whole bunch of different formats. Let's just output a markdown. In essence, Report Ranger just compiles all the markdown into a single markdown file and the other formats are outputting by converting that markdown into the format. Let's have a look. So output.md is the output. Let's open a preview and we can see it's generate a report. So clients, uh, the client was just a client, engaged reporter sec, that was a client, that, that was a company that we're using for the template. Um, it's put together tables, so uh, HTS not set, critical. If we look in the vulnerability itself, it says a likelihood, it says the impact, um, it doesn't say the final risk. Likelihood, impact, uh, the report ranger has the ability to do all of the, the um, final risk assessments. It will order the vulnerabilities. It will make sure that the vulnerabilities are assigned a number. And it does that all for you as part of the automation. And it puts the report together. So it adds the vulnerabilities in the reports, um, puts the tables for the risk assessments, and then finally adds the appendices. And you can see the document control right at the end. Let's output it to a PDF this time. Now, Report Ranger, because you're outputting to a PDF, we use LaTeX in the background to, again, one of the principles was beautiful professional reports. And it does take a bit of time to output to a PDF. And the reason is LaTeX takes a bit of time, especially tables. The more tables you have, the more time it will take. But you get a nice looking report. And the report itself has all the tables. It's colored the risk assessments. You can have images, you can have charts. We don't use it for this report specifically. But um, yeah, that's colored everything, risk assessments there, and finally the appendices. Now, I was, one last trick. I was talking about strong templating, about how you don't need to uh, worry about the how the report looks. And so let's see the same report in the Volcus template. Again, because it's outputting to PDF, it does take a bit longer. But you can say, see it's changed to Volcus. So totally different look and feel. All the tables, the colors have changed because it's strongly templated. The images have changed. And this is what our internal reports look like. You've got a nicer footer there. Or you've got the logo. And... Yeah, so when using Report Ranger, you should only have to worry about the content. You shouldn't have to worry about how it looks in the end. You shouldn't have to worry about the risk assessments. You shouldn't have to worry about things like, hey, I've changed the risk for one of the vulnerabilities. Now I've got to reorder the tables at the start. I've got to reorder where all the vulnerabilities are. Report Ranger should do all of that for you. Of course, I was talking about overriding everything. All of that can also be overridden. Now, 
that's a brief instruction. There's a lot more to Report Ranger. There's things like importing from spreadsheets and outputting to spreadsheets. There's things like charts and dynamic contents and strongly templated vulnerabilities. But um, we'll go through all of that in future videos. It's just an introduction. Report Ranger is freely available on our GitLab account. So you can go, you can play around with it. You can make your own templates. You can use it internally for your company if you'd like. Uh, we're not precious about any of that. If you'd like any more information, then give us a, a ring or, or um, go to our website, ask us. Um, and otherwise, hope that uh, you can get something out of our reporting system. Cheers.